everybody my name is Natalie and today I am going to be showing you how to make some pumpkin slime okay so if you and a trusted adult um, plan on maybe carving a pumpkin this fall season make sure you save the seeds out of your pumpkin and make sure you don't try to carve your pumpkin by yourself make sure you always have an adult's help with something like that but save those seeds out of your pumpkin and later you can make some pumpkin pumpkin slime okay so here's my seeds I've saved. Um, you'll also need a bottle of clear glue. You'll need some contact solution, baking soda, <laughs> and I've got some food coloring here. I've got red and yellow to make orange, and you'll need some water. Um, you'll also want to make your slime in a container that maybe you can put a lid on in case you want to save your slime for later and you don't want it to dry out. You can put a lid on it. Um, I also have a old towel here on my table because I just don't want to make a mess. So you definitely, you know, um, want to make sure that you've got parents' permission, adults' permission to uh, make the slime. You don't want to uh, make a mess without permission first, right? Okay, so once you've done all that and you've got all your stuff, you're ready to go. And I'm going to show you how to make some pumpkin slime. So first you're going to start with your whole bottle of glue. Um, got to get it all in there. Move it more than two, three weeks with it. Two, three, three, four weeks with it. All right, I think we've got most of the glue mm, out. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see. I've also laid a towel down on my table so that way I hopefully won't make too much of a mess. That might be something you consider too. Um, but after you've gotten all your glue out, you're going to add a half cup of water. And then I'm going to you know, kind of stir that up a little bit. going to add a half teaspoon of baking soda okay and just kind of mix that up a little bit again and now I'm gonna go ahead and add my food coloring. Um, I want my slime to be orange, so I'm gonna mix some yellow and red food coloring in here and see if we get some orange. We should. And so, like I said, this can be a little messy, so make sure that you've, you know, talked it over with um, you know grown grown ups make sure this is okay to do you don't want to make any messes we'll see if this kind of turns orange it looks really red <laughs> might have to try to add some more yellow Maybe I just can't see colors very well, <laughs> but it looks more red to me. All right, now we'll go ahead and we'll put some of our pumpkin seeds in there. And you can put as much in there as you want, I can imagine. Um, I just kind of rinsed mine off with some water to try to get some of the pumpkin slime off of them. Um, and then I'm gonna mix these in there. And then you need one tablespoon. 
spoon of contact solution. This kind of comes out a little slow. tablespoon of contact solution and then we're going to mix it up and it's starting to slime together here It after I stirred it for a little while and now it's nice and gooey and sticky so it's not so much of a mess okay um, so like I said if you um, want to save your slime make sure it's in a airtight container like this that you can slap a lid on so um, it won't dry out as quick okay but I hope this was fun I hope you had fun making it and I hope it wasn't too complicated all right Bye, guys.